All kinds of things are on tap this weekend. Our weekend expert, phonologist Tracy.com Collins, has a look at some events that you should be looking out for. Girl, Jesus is in the house. Jesus <laughs> is in the house. You're going to get to see a performance from Godspell. And I will tell you, I saw it. It is fantastic. Fantastic. I love it. So yeah. well, that's coming up. So yes. that's also happening this now, weekend. Also, tonight, there's going to be a Vic Michelucci sighting there at is. North Beach's Art Walk. He just said he might be there tonight. That's so right. uh, that's from 5 to 9. That's and right. It's in Atlantic Beach. Right. It's either side of Atlantic Boulevard in yep. Atlantic and Neptune Beach. So it's the North Beach's Art Walk. And um, you can go to nbaw.org to see more of what you will see there. And of course, just the, the typical music, arts, and just a really and good Vic. time. And, and big out shopping. This is true. <laughs> okay, so also happening this weekend, the St. Augustine Film Festival, which is always great. Always great. And what's really exciting about it this year is they're doing a Lifetime Achievement Award for oh. Karen Allen, who you might remember mm -hmm. from films like uh, she was in the Raiders of the yes, Lost Ark absolutely. series. There she is with Harrison Ford. Um, she was also in Animal House, very famous yeah. for that. And um, and then Scrooged with Bill yes, Murray. Another good one. So I uh, just wanted to let you know that typically Typically, these are independent films. Now, National Lampoon, Animal House, for me, was the first original independent film because you remember they wouldn't, they couldn't get their script yeah, sold exactly. to yeah. uh, the the film industry, so they just made their own film. So they'll be doing that. She will actually be introducing Animal House tomorrow night. Oh, nice! Yeah, so you can um, all of the they do such a great job down there. All of the uh, major passes are sold out, but you can go to individual okay. tickets. So those are ten dollars each. So check that out. And it'll be at various venues. And uh, once again, today through Sunday, SaintAugustineFilmFest.com. Uh, what about Backyard Adventures? That yes. sounds exciting. It's Backyard Adventures Inside. <laughs> <laughs> now, well, that doesn't make it. It's a now, little oxymoronish, but that's okay. Yeah. <laughs> now, um, Mark will appreciate this because you're going to learn about wild weather, including Ooh. hurricanes and storms, why they nice. come, what develops beforehand. Yeah. And then, of course, uh, as we find here in Florida in our backyards, insects, as well as you're going to learn about plants that are from our area, which is really important because if you bring in outside plants, it uh, chokes other plants out. Mm. I don't know why I know this, but I didn't know that. <laughs> just one All of the things, things I you stored can learn away. about and that your kids can tell you about. <laughs> Absolutely. So that's going to be at Mosh. Yes. Hey, if you want to get your fitness on this weekend, mm -hmm. Winter Beach Run's happening. That's right, Winter Beach Run, and I love the ones that are not at 7:30 in the morning. Those are Those my are kind of of runs. Those so are good. <laughs> Winter Beach Run is the annual run uh, put on by First Place Sport on the beach. You can go either one mile, five miles, or ten miles, and you can get that registration packet at FirstPlaceSports.com. All right, and there's the running suit guy in that picture. We've had him on the show before. Oh, yeah, yeah. And then something that is very close to uh, to, to my heart, to Vic's heart, because we've volunteered uh, with this before, and I know you've been involved. Yes. Night to Shine. Registration is going to open. That's right. So Night to Shine is the Tim Tebow <laughs> event where they throw a prom for young adults with special needs. That's both physical and um, uh mental disabilities so it gives them a night to celebrate them and I'm talking red you've done the red carpet before yes, red so carpet um, just a, a beautiful night of karaoke and dancing to a DJ and just really making them feel special now I will tell you that they do need volunteers that they had 864 when I went to the orientation they need about 1200 more but you do need to go to a registration so go to night to shine jacks.com register and then they will set you up with an orientation before the event which is february 8th now if you don't want to do that you can also donate evening wear yes. that they can wear so go Please to do that yes, yes so go to hope's closet and donate that evening wear and i know you're donating dresses I i'm am. donating dresses i have one i meant to bring it to you today to give but um i'll pick I'm, it up. I'm gonna do it on saturday yeah. and and it's just great you again hope's closet is the um thrift store that's connected to 1122 and it's right there on the corner of Beaches and San, San Pablo. Pablo. Yes. All right. Thank you, Tracy.